Hello everyone, welcome back to My Sideboard Diaries, your ultimate guide to digital experience excellence. I am your host Jitendra Ghanekar and today we are going to dive into a topic that is crucial for achieving digital experience and that is X-Connect. But before we, uh, st we get started, make sure you are following me on, on all my social media platform. You can find the links right here on the screen. Stay connected for latest uh, update. Do not forget to subscribe if you have not already and let's make this digital experience exploration unforgettable. So let's jump into the world of X Connect. So let us take a sneak peek at what's coming up in today's video. First up, we will see what exactly X Connect is why Sitecore has introduced it, why it is a game changer. Next on agenda is how it works. Then we will move on to the XConnect application roles. I will give you overview of a key players in the XConnect. After that, we will have an overview of some of the concepts like contacts, interaction, events and facets. And at the last, we will see what is XConnect model and API. So let's start our journey of XConnect. So we'll see what is XConnect. Uh, before we dive into a deeper into the XConnect, let us rewind a bit. XConnect made its entry in the Sitecore scene with the release of a Sitecore version 9.0. Why was this introduced? What? Uh, well, that is because the critical issue faced a preview in the previous version, and that is the performance. So, XConnect is introduced in Sitecore version 9.0. The performance was a major issue in the lower version. Why? Why it is, it is an issue in the lower version? First of all, in the previous uh, uh, previous to the 9.0 version. The major concern was the performance. Why? Because the data and the events had to bind with the pages. Okay, it is tightly binded with the pages and the collected data, whatever the data we are collecting, that had to go through the uh, the sitecore.kernel.dll before it finds its way to the XDB. Okay, so this become the bottleneck of and it is impacted the performance of the application. Okay, so that was the problem. Now, Sitecore has addressed this issue. Okay, so to address that issue, now data collection API service is introduced by the Sitecore and it is this sep complete separate layer from the pages. So now we have a data collection API as a separate layer which is called as the XConnect and this layer will have its own IIS site also. As now data is separated, it means that any non Sitecore application can seamlessly connect with the uh, send the data to the XDB using the XConnect layer and this is where the game is change okay this is more flexible and scalable uh, option to integrate with the XDB and uh, uh, the only condition which we uh, have here to integrate with the uh, XDB using XConnect is a uh, the non sidecore application must be a trusted client of a XConnect. Okay, so XConnect introduced in Sitecore uh, in the Sitecore version 9.0 performance was the major issue in the lower version. Uh, this is because data events had to bind with the pages and collected data had to go through the Sitecore.kernel DLR before saving in XDB. Now we have a data collection API as a separate layer which is called as the XConnect and this layer will have a separate IIS site. Any non core application can send data to XDB using the XConnect layer. The only condition before sending the data is the third party client must be trusted a client of the XConnect. So, how will you define XConnect? XConnect is a service layer that sits in between the XDB collection database and XDB index and any trusted client or device that want to read, write or search contact and interaction data. Why XConnect is a game changer? Microservices. So it can connect to the variety of a new service that elastically scale to support the 
flow of real time interactions data and marketing automation across the site core and other system so this is the standout feature that is you can seamlessly integrate with the microservice and that's those services can be outside the site core also so it means that you can collect the data the real time data of an interaction data, uh, or the contact data or, or the marketing automation data across the systems not only just a site core but also other systems IoT ready of so what what do you mean by IoT ready that the personalization now can be extended for a multi-channel experience right you can have it to, uh, for the uh, mobile uh, tablet uh, any 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 channel you can use this okay so that is IoT ready not only this it is it is uh, compliant by default it is gdpr compliant so gdpr and security it comes with the gdpr compliant by default and is architected to incorporate privacy by design principle okay so these are the three things for due to which we can say that xconnect is a game changer so now let us understand how data flows between xdb uh, and CM and CD and the third party. Okay, so Sitecore nine onwards, as we uh, we understand from the last uh, slide that we have introduced the uh, the Sitecore has introduced this X Connect. Now X Connect is a use between the XDB and the CD or CM or a third party as a bridge. Okay. And it, it communicates by using the O data framework. The magic of O data framework is used here for communicating between CD and CM. Okay, so XDB uh, has a collection, processing server, search, reporting, and reference database. Uh, if you have, you want to know more about this, I will give you the link of the the video which explains those things at the at top. Okay, then uh, the uh, the old data framework is basically uh, the framework which is used for the uh, for the communication here. Okay, so it is a standard, efficient, and easily extensible framework. Okay, uh, for uh, to transfer our data from or from CD or CM to XDP. Okay, then uh, at the back end, Solar Solar Cloud, uh, which is used 9.0 update uh, to and later, you can use the Solar Cloud or Azure Search for for the XDP index. Okay, and then uh, you as a storage for a 6db collection database, you can use SQL or a MongoDB. A MongoDB you can use from 9.0 update to and later. Okay, so the indexes are stored, it can be stored in the Solar, Solar Cloud, or Azure Search, whereas the data collection database can be you can use SQL or MongoDB. Okay, so in a nutshell, the data flow between XDB C, uh, and CM, CD or third party applications is orchestrated through a O data framework while Solar, Solar Cloud, Azure Search, SQL or MongoDB are the backbone of the indexing and storage. Let's see how it works. First of all, when you set up any site core instance uh, with XConnect, it, it installed a dedicated website for xconnect you generally it is named as a your instance name dot xconnect as website so web server installed with the site for instance as a your instance name dot xconnect as website to ensure a security site core provide two ssl certificates with private and public key when client wants to communicate with the XConnect server, it must establish an SSL connection using a client certificate. And this ensures a secure TLS mutual authentication process, meaning only the authorized device armed with the correct certificate can access the XDB. So Sitecore provides us two SSL certificate to ensure secure TLS mutual authentication via public key and private key when the client wants to interface with the xconnect server it must open an ssl connection by using a client certificate and that is the only uh, way of the you can access the xdb so this is the only authorized devices are able to access the xdb o data protocol so the backbone of a data communication is the o data protocol it is basically defines a set of best practices for building and consuming the rest api what does it mean to us? It means a seamless communication 
and the best part is you can utilize the existing languages or platform specific OData libraries. So OData defines a set of best practices for building and consuming the REST API, a full APIs and it is also possible to use the existing languages or platform specific OData libraries. Now the API. Okay, so XConnect offers an API to fetch and add a contact, facet, interaction and other experience platform entities directly to the XDP. Okay, so these are the key element of how it works. First of all, if I summarize it, first of all, we have when you install the site code, you will have a blank, a dedicated blank, insta, blank website in the IS that is called as a, your instance name dot XConnect IS website. Sitecore uses a 2 SSL certificate with a private and public key to communicate with the uh, client. So cli if the client want to interact with the uh, uh, XConnect server, it must open the SSL connection by using a correct client uh, certificate. Then it utilizes the OData uh, framework which is actually nothing but the best practices for building and consuming the RESTful API. And XConnect offers an API to fetch and add contacts facet interactions and other experience platform entities directly to the XD. Let us now check the different uh, XConnect application roles uh, or a key players in the XConnect. So XConnect is consists, consists of a two web services and one indexing worker. Two web services are collection service and search service and a search indexer is the indexing worker. So first is the XConnect collection service. It is a service which receives the contact and interaction. It allows uh, reading of a contact and interaction data by ID or identifier from the XDB collection database. It can be hosted on the IIS or uh, Azure app service. So Excel, XConnect collection service is basically to receive the contacts and interaction data into the site code. The next uh, uh, service is the XConnect collection search service. This uh, role not only searches the contact and interaction, but uh, also can collect the data. It is also can be hosted on the IIS or Azure app service. So these two collection service and collection service are basically web services. Then we have a XConnect search indexer. This is, this is basically a Windows service, which is named as a Sitecore XConnect search indexer. This role adds and update the contact and interaction data and going a step ahead it also rebuild the XDB search, da search indexer so that you will have a updated uh, data always okay and it can also be uh, it uses it uses XConnect search to search in the XDB index. All data get indexes unless they are not marked as a PI sensitive. So if there is no PI sensitive data, then it always get indexed. It can be hosted on the Windows service and uh, the Azure web job. So if I summarize with this slide that XConnect has a uh, two uses a two web service and one Windows service. So two web services are collection service and search service. Collection services receives the contact and uh, interactions data. Whereas uh, the uh, search service not only searches the contacts and interaction, you can also collect the data from it. Both these services, the collection services and search services can be hosted on IIS and Azure app service. Whereas you have a search indexer that is uh, basically a Windows service which adds and update the contact and interaction data and go and also re-index the XDB so that you will get always a latest update and this can be hosted on Windows service and Azure job web job. This video is became very long thus I am stopping at uh, uh, this point today. Uh, we will continue same topic in the next video. Till now if you have liked the video then please click on a like button and share it with your fellow developers. Subscribe to the channel and click on a bell icon to get a latest update. We will meet soon in the next part. Thank you. Thanks for watching.